Oh, America, sweet America, what did you just do? Did you just pay paradise and put up a fascist lot? I'm Dr. Ravi Chandra, psychiatrist, writer, and compassion educator in San Francisco, California. It's a beautiful day here, and I'm enjoying myself. But we gotta talk. This is not a hot take. Uh, I think there are several kind of medicalized uh, explanations for what just happened on November 5th. Number one, an addiction to abusive power. Number two, electoral colic, or just dissatisfaction throwing out the party in power every four years. And self-harm, uh, basically uh, accomplished uh, through an extremely irrational judgment about dissatisfaction. So let's take addiction to abusive power first. Well, you know, I think America, you're very addicted to whiteness, uh, an abusive form of power, and also uh, a really idiotic version of economics where all you supposedly care about is the price of eggs rather than affordable housing, health care, uh, and, and, and so forth. And let's move on to addiction to abusive power. Well, you know, abusive power is cruel. It blames others when one experiences dissatisfaction. And the majority culture uh, experiences dissatisfaction. I'm not, I'm not uh, arguing with that, but it chooses the wrong targets. Instead of, say, the wealthy uh, who have skewed the landscape towards their interests, uh, it blames black people, minorities, LGBTQ people, trans people in particular, uh, instead of taking a good hard look in the mirror and coming to terms that a lot of things need to change. Um, and so I think you've lost touch, with, as with any addiction, with your higher power and with your true self, which is all about love and compassion and kindness. So you can look up my lecture on abusive power uh, it, it's on my YouTube channel, Archandra2006. Uh, you can look up the, uh, my we uh, m the website, eastwindezine.com, and look up last year. I wrote an article about America's addictions to abusive power. And finally, electoral colic, or uh, difficult ways or challenging ways to deal with dissatisfaction. Now, it seems like the population has basically barfed up uh, every four years, uh, throwing out the party in power. And I have no doubt that they will get dissatisfied with Donald Trump and throw him out too. But the problem is uh, that, uh, that this was an irrational judgment, uh, not really taking a hard look at the dissatisfactions and how to solve them uh, rationally. Um, so they've kind of gone along, the population's kind of become enrolled uh, largely in a cult movement, which is very top-down and hierarchical as opposed to listening to people you don't know, you might you might have some expertise, for example. So it's like America said, oh, I'm not gonna listen to my doctor uh, who's very competent because they're a person of color. I'm gonna go down the street to the most incompetent white man possible because I trust whiteness uh, to solve my problems more than uh, rational uh, and competent people. So, uh, so electoral colic, but dissatisfaction and irrationality uh, based on undue influence by a matrix of manipulation. Y'all were manipulated hard by a right-wing ecosystem. You just go down that rabbit hole and you believe everything they say and they say distrust media. Well, what about distrusting them a little bit, being skeptical? Uh, you can be skeptical of me too, you know, go ahead. Uh, you know, I, I, I can reason and I can talk with anybody uh, who's, uh, you know, not totally uh, headstrong and dead wrong. Um, so, you know, it's just, it's just hard to talk to people who won't listen. And a lot of us are prepared to listen. We're prepared to work hard to try to solve the problems, but we've got to get the, uh, the uh, informational ecosystem right uh, with good reason. And we've got to get the emotional ecosystem right with compassion and kindness uh, and shared humanity. And we've got to get the relational ecosystem right too, with just seeing each other as equals and as human beings all in this uh, struggle called America. Thank you for listening.